What's up and welcome guys, I'm Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today I am at the Maxwell Food Center here Chinatown, Singapore. We've picked out a few different things we want to sample today. It is extremely busy lunchtime rush, but we're gonna do our best and definitely eat some delicious food today. So, let's go. We've got our first food today here at the Maxwell Food Center and this is an absolutely hectic food center but there's lots of different famous stalls and we started off with a small snack today and this is the Fujo Oyster Cake. So it actually, honestly, it doesn't look that appetizing. It's just, a, it looks like a piece of deep fried batter but apparently what lies inside is where all the goodness is at and it actually is extremely rare because a lot of people don't make it in the traditional way like we saw her making it inside, but it's very popular to eat here because it's one of the last remaining hawker stalls apparently in Singapore serving this particular dish. So the way that she makes this is she takes the rice flour into sort of like a special kind of spoon or ladle and then she covers the bottom of the ladle in the rice flour and then throws in all the different ingredients, the Chinese celery, then a couple, three or four oysters, and then a shrimp or two, and then covers it again in some more rice flour. And then on top of all that, she puts peanuts, only two or three peanuts. But the owner told me that the peanuts are not for the flavor, but rather some people like to order the oyster cakes without oysters. So they use the peanuts as sort of an indication of which ones have oysters and which ones do not. So peanuts mean oysters and no peanuts mean no oysters. This is extremely hot, but I'm going to crack it open and show you guys what's inside. So it's just completely like brown, golden brown on the outside. That's just deep fried rice flour. And let's crack this open, see what's inside. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Look at that, that looks extremely juicy. So inside there is oysters of course, and some Chinese celery and pork and shrimp as well. And just check out how juicy that looks. It is just packed full of all those stuffings. I can see there's an oyster, some pork. Not sure if there's a shrimp in this bite though. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That Chinese celery is like a really prominent flavor there but also those oysters are extremely like juicy oysters. And then the minced meat has kind of, since being cooked, released all that fat and just turned into a liquid. That's really good. Mm. Okay, so after about a 30 minute wait in line, we have our next dish here. This is a bowl of fish meat bihun, which is vermicelli noodles with fish meat, and then it's all in this extremely milky looking broth. So let's check out this bowl here. As you can see, just look at that broth. It is extremely like milky. He actually used milk to make it this consistency. And then on top, we've got a ton of fried shallots, some greens, and then big chunks of deep fried fish. And then underneath here we have the uh, bihun noodles, which look amazing and this smells so good. <laughs> it looks extremely like creamy. So let's dig in. Mm. Oh, whoa. It's a little bit salty, 
and a little bit kind of like almost sour and it is super creamy from that milk mm, and it has like a nice like fish stock taste let's try these bihun noodles mm, those are quite like bouncy qq very firm noodle actually and they're sort of like kind of like a translucent noodle mm. okay Let's try this uh, big piece of the deep fried fish and it's probably just soaked up all that broth and actually it is also served with a, a sauce here. I think it's like a soy sauce, maybe vinegar and there's some chilies in there as well. Let's take a little dip. Let's try that. Mm. Mm. Okay, whoa. That fish completely soaked up all the juices of that stock and then also the sauce with it is like a little bit sour and a little bit spicy. So it is an extremely hot day here in Singapore. So we've just moved out of the sun over to here to enjoy the rest of our bihun fish noodles. So another popular dish there is the fish head bihun. But I just got the meat and I'm, I'm actually really happy that I did because this is like, it's almost like fried tofu, how much it's soaked up the juices. You can just see it's dripping that milky broth right now. And this is this is an awesome bowl of noodles. It's light in flavor, but really like rich at the same time because it's a thick broth. Okay, so we just finished waiting in quite a long line. It is about two o'clock now, and the line certainly died down from since we got here at about 12.30. But this is in the most famous stall for sure at this Hawker Center at Maxwell Food Court, and that is Tian Tian Hainanese Chicken Rice. So this place was made famous by people like Anthony Bourdain and Gordon Ramsay. And actually, our cab driver was telling us that Gordon Ramsay was recently in town to learn how to make this Hainanese chicken rice from this hawker stall, Tian Tian. I don't know if that's true or not because our taxi driver told us that, but uh, regardless, he has eaten there, so is Anthony Bourdain, and they have just won several awards. So apparently this is the best uh, chicken rice around. So I'm pretty excited to try it, and it does look really good. We ordered the medium-sized chicken rice, and there is quite a bit of this just chicken breast meat. And all, of course, on a bed of rice and then over here it looks like some sort of like a chili sauce and then back here we've got some cucumbers as well so i'm just gonna dig in oh of course too he has just covered it in their their specialty sauce the secret sauce and that is the hainanese chicken rice and it looks ridiculously juicy from from this point of view it looks just shimmering in the light and I, I'm just gonna dig in right now. Okay, I'm gonna go for a piece kind of in the middle where there's quite a bit of sauce for my first bite and make sure to get some rice. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Now the chicken is cold and the sauce is a, a little bit sour. The chicken's supposed to be cold, or room temperature at least. But that rice is actually, the rice is really good. Mmm, yeah, that rice is amazing. So that rice is actually cooked in the juices of the chicken and maybe a little bit of chicken stock as well. And I was actually expecting it to be a little bit more tender, but let's try another bite here. And this time, I'll go for this piece here. It looks extremely juicy, and I'm gonna dip it in this chili sauce now too. Okay, that should be a good bite. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, that piece was much more tender. And that chili sauce is amazing. It's not sweet at all, like some sambal sauce you might get in Singapore or Malaysia. It might be a little bit sweet. Well, that's just straight spicy, actually. But that chicken is ridiculously juicy, so juicy. Mmm. And it's just a fragrant and that rice is extremely fragrant as well. It just has the essence of the chicken in the rice. And yeah, it tastes with a cucumber too. Mm. Okay. 
That was seriously good chicken rice. Okay, so it is certainly a long wait, but I definitely recommend it. It is really good and you should certainly try it if you ever come to Singapore. It may be one of the most famous of all the hawker stalls in Singapore, but honestly, my favorite part about this is this chili sauce. It is like a sour, really, really spicy chili sauce. I'm actually just gonna pour it right on this piece over here. Just completely coat it. Oh yeah. That's gonna be a spicy bite. That's okay. Make sure, oh, there's two pieces of chicken there. Make sure I get some rice as well. Okay, let's try that. Oh no. There's another piece of chicken holding on, there we go. Mmm, mm. it's so sour, but spicy at the same time. Extremely spicy. I'm gonna chase that with some rice. Mm. Yeah, this is certainly uh, the taste of an award-winning dish. Okay, that's it for today's video. Washing everything down with the apple kiwi pineapple smoothie. And it may have been a short one, or it seemed like it, but it was actually an extremely long day because we were waiting in so many lines. The Maxwell Food Court is extremely popular. There's definitely a lot of famous stalls here. If you come to Singapore and don't go to a food court, there's something wrong with you because you need to come here. The best food and the cheapest food is available at the talker stalls in the food courts and they're all over the place. So definitely make sure you come here. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me any questions in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos like this. I'll see you next time guys. Bye bye.